charges for a woman accused of impersonating a police officer several times across South Florida. And that woman was once a police officer herself. CBS Force Peter Dench is live in Miami with new information on the case. Peter. Ali at Miami-Dade police tell us the suspect in this case used to be one of their own for nearly 15 years. Now she is charged with twice impersonating a police officer over a short period of time in late July. And in this latest case, she reportedly involved even her own sister. Martha Aleman's father told me he did not want to say anything as he closed his front door, but for the second time in a month, his daughter is charged with falsely impersonating a police officer. Aleman had been a Miami-Dade cop from October 2001 until she resigned in late January of last year. Ma'am, you were arrested for falsely impersonating an officer. That's what the charge is. It's from July 24th. Alamon was arrested after police were told about an incident that happened at this home on July 24th in Southwest Miami-Dade. The victim needed help for her daughter and met Alamon through a third person. She reportedly told the victim she was working undercover for Miami-Dade police. It was part of a task force investigating terrorism and cyber crimes. Police say Alamon even brought her sister here once and she was paid $300 as a psychologist to counsel the victim's daughter. There's probable cause for the charge. She was arrested this week after the victim called police. She had discovered through the internet that Aleman had actually been arrested last month. A police report says Aleman followed a victim in his car to this marathon gas station on Coral Way in Miami. It told him she was a cop displaying a badge. But two Miami officers busted Aleman when she could not produce an identification card. Additional charges were filed against her because of prescription pills found in her car. I'm setting a bond. I believe the standard bond is $5,000, and I'm setting that. No hold. She's free to bond out. Good luck to you, ma'am. Now, police say Alamon admitted to giving the victim in the latest case her card, claiming she was a cop, and they also say that she admitted as well to following the victim in the first case into the gas station because she was angry at him for flicking his finger at her. We did speak with Alamon's former boyfriend. He told me that they don't speak anymore because they had a falling out. We're live at the Metro Justice Building, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.